This is Kobe Bryant. This is Jam Session coming at you. Type of moments that I live for. You gotta show me. I told you he's gonna get it, man. You gotta show him. Welcome back to The Jump. I am Rachel Nichols alongside Robert Ori, Matt Barnes, and we now welcome in the MVP of the 2008 Finals, of course, took place between the Celtics and Kobe's Lakers future Hall of Famer, mm. Paul Pierce. Up, Thank you for being with us. Be we had there. to move to the big part of the set because we got Paul with us <laughs> now. Paul, two NBA Finals you played against Kobe. You guys mm -hmm. played against each other, though, 39 oh, times. Wow. Mm. That <laughs> Celtics-Lakers rivalry, you two yeah. were the faces there. But I want to take you back to the very beginning. I'm going to ask yeah. you the same question I asked these guys, so many current players. What do you remember about the very first time you faced Kobe Bryant? Oh, man. Uh, I'll never forget this. Um, so when I first came into the league, I played small for my whole life. I came into the league, I'm, I got moved to two guard, right? And so now I'm guarding Kobe, and I just remember he stole a ball from me and he went down. I couldn't catch him. Usually I'm like, all right, I could catch him. You know, I, I was pretty fast as a youngster. I just thought how fast he was. And I was just like, every time they got the rebound, he gone. I'm like, I can't keep up with this dude, man. I'm like, it made me reevaluate my position. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to go back to small forward. Because <laughs> playing the two guard, I just, he was just so fast. Like, man, you know what? Man, we need to uh, make a trade. I'm gonna go back to the small forward. I don't want to have to deal with this for the next 10 years. Kobe could do that to you, right, guys? <laughs> That's good, buddy. I was incredible. I was like, wow. Absolutely. All right. Well, <laughs> to honor the legend of Kobe, we have decided to spend the rest of this show counting down the top 24 Mamba moments. And some of these guys who played with and against him, who knew him best, are going to chime in here. So number 24, Kobe winning the 97 dunk contest as a rookie, people. Watch this. Couldn't tell oh. nothing. I was the swagger already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you couldn't tell that dude nothing. Fresh out of high school to get the dunk contest, man. Uh, uh, he had them legs. The, this is when the stars still competed in the dunk contest. Right. This is what you gotta love. I mean, Thank you. Man, you gotta love that. I think a lot of people forget that Kobe had hops back in the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna forget watching this. Number 23, Kobe performing a spike block on Ray Allen. Ooh. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that was like big brother versus little brother right there. <laughs> That's how I do my son Prince right, right now. Oh, you're gonna get the steal, I'm gonna pay you back, though. I'll pay you back, take that. Talk about Hobbs Feather, look how long he was up there. <laughs> Waiting for it. Right? And we all know Ray got hops too. He right. just, right. just couldn't jump with the mamba. Kobe was like, oh wait, it's all good. I'll just be up here. You you get here whenever you can. Number 22, Kobe on Dwight Howard. Take a listen. Ooh, this was a curious to Kobe. This man, Kobe Bryant, can take over. Oh, wow. He posterizes Dwight Howard. Oh, it's the first time I ever got dunked on, and it had to be Kobe Bryant. So. Uh, Every time I see him come down the lane, I just get flashbacks, and hopefully it won't happen again. <laughs> I baptize him. I, I, turn, I, turn, I turn him into a defensive force. Here's another look from a different angle. This one right into your living room. Ooh, that was tough. Man, you just, just my, saddle someone like that, man. My only thing is, how is this number 22? Like, <laughs> it's going to get good. It's about to get good. about to get good. That would have been my number one. Man, that was tough. Oh my God! Get to the paint and think about this. It's like most guys are gonna try. Like, ah, better not. I'm just gonna ride this one out. And Kobe just rolled him back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number 21, guys. Kobe's clutch buckets against the Blazers in 2004. That's the Kobe stopper, ain't it? Oh yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, that's the Kobe stopper, right? Hey, oh, wait. Stopper. He said he was a Kobe Seven stopper when they were so it, many right? times in Seven practice. Proclaimed. <laughs> Man. Oh my goodness, this was crazy. I apologize to everyone from Portland for reopening this trauma, but mm. it was incredible. Oh, beautiful. Ruben remembers. <laughs> Number 20, Kobe's one handed alley oop against the Sixers in 2000. Oh my oh. goodness. Nasty. 
That was crazy. Mm -hmm. That was about as bad as a pass you can throw. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that. That pass was awful, <laughs> B-Soft. Other side of the rim? <laughs> yeah, other side of the made him a highlight. <laughs> he was throwing it to Shaq. That's how you get good alley-oops, though. Uh, the worse yeah. the pass, Doing the better the, the highlight. On the opposite side of the yeah, rim like, he was on. And for Kobe to go get it, though, you know, most people are like, oh, it's a bad pass, right. but he still goes and gets it. I'm sorry, Alan. All right, number 19, Kobe's baseline dunk against the T-Wolves in 2003. Take a listen to this one. Oh man, I remember this ticket. Oh man. Oh, oh, come on now. Oh my god. When you dunk on the big ticket, then oh my god. Hey, he's got a couple dunks on me like this. I'm just hoping they didn't make the list. Ooh. That's tough. You know, as I'm watching this, I'm like, did he just dunk that? Yep. Yeah, that one against, that There's one no against way. the Knicks, too. Oh, so. oh, Shout out to our friend Kevin Harlan. Great call on that game. So many more. Number 18, Kobe hits a turnaround three with his off hand, people. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, even, I don't even know if I've attempted a jump shot. I, I remember when he broke his right hand. That's when he was at UCLA. I'm telling you, he went through a whole workout like he was a left-handed player. That used to just Even watch him like, practice. Some days he just come to practice. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to do everything left hand. You look at him like, really, dude? <laughs> and he getting and he buckets left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he was hitting him. Oh, Number 17, Kobe dunking on. Yes, Yao Ming. Mm, get up, big fella. Over the Great Wall. <laughs> Ooh, not people. Not a lot of people went over the Great Wall, but Ooh, Kobe tough. certainly did. And this, I'm just always there in the background, just watching in amazement <laughs> at the Ooh. things you can do. It's always so great when you can see it live right. and watch these moments and be like, dude, really? Ooh, all right. <laughs> Robert, I am going to point out you did more than watch. <laughs> you have seven rings to prove it. No, several I, with I, Kobe. I <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.